we have a lot of new products and before we put them on the website I wanted to show you because it might take a while to put them all on the website. Um, these are all related to multicopters and we have flight controllers, OSDs, GPS, telemetry modules, gimbal controllers. They're mostly really inexpensive, affordable uh, and very useful products to, for your multicopter. So I'll start with the ones which I'm most excited about and it's this one. This is the Multiwi Pro called the All-in-One Controller. It's called All-in-One because it can run Ardu Pirate code and Multiwi code and those are two different flight controller codes. I'm familiar with the Ardu Pilot but I've never tried the Multi Pilot or Multiwi so I want to try this. I'm excited about this. It also comes with a case and it fits very nice. I already tried it. So this is interesting. The second one is a flight controller that can run only Multiwi because it uses a smaller processor. It can't handle the Arduplier code. But the price is so low. If you want to build a tiny quad to fly, uh, this is the way to go, I think. I've heard that Multiwi um, is the pilot's choice. It, uh, it feels the best when you're flying acrobatics, but I've never flown acrobatics, so I'm going to try it. So after that, that's all we have for the flight controllers. The next thing is the telemetry modules. There's only one model, but it comes in two different frequencies. It comes in 900 megahertz and 400 megahertz. And really, the 900 megahertz is for United States, because I think in Europe the cellular towers work on 900 megahertz. So you want to use 433 megahertz in Europe. These use the, the Hope RF chip. I think they're pretty much a clone of the original 3DR telemetry modules. But the good thing is they come with these cases. I think they might be sold separate, but they fit very well. And it's really nifty because the ground module, it comes with a USB adapter to serial converter attached. You just put the case on, put it into your computer. Really convenient. So that lets you see your position on the map, on the Google map. It lets you send updates to your autopilot. So that's what it's for. You can connect this to the autopilot for sure, because I've used it. But I'm not sure how to connect it to the Multiwi. So after I know that, I'll let you guys know. Um, here we have APM power modules. I got these because usually they're out of stock or hard to get on 3D Robotics. And this looks like a direct clone. They also come with the Deans connector, which might be hard to find. So we have both Deans connector, APM module, power module, and XT60. Again, this is, measures the current for the APM, and it also has a 5 volt power supply, like a UBEC, you would call it, to power your APM from your main flight battery. So I don't know if you can use these again with a multi wii but I'll try. It's really convenient. Uh, then we have the two GPS modes. One GPS is the Neo 6 GPS, which is the cheaper one. And there's the Ublox Lia 6 module, which is a more expensive one. The other item here is a OSD. It's called the Mimi OSD. This is a clone, of course, of the Mimi OSD. And the good thing about it is it comes with a case. And the case is aluminum. And this is the only part we have here with an aluminum case. And the reason for it being aluminum is because the maximum chip on these OSDs gets very hot. And another thing I've heard about these clones, and the reason why they're so cheap is because they use seconds. Well, the IC, the maximum OSD IC is seconds. So these are the ones that the factory is supposed to throw away, but they, use, they, get, they get them somehow and they put them on the boards and they use them. So we'll test it and make sure that it does work and doesn't fail. But the price is very, very low for an OSD. You can use that with your APM to see all the to see all your telemetry right on the screen as you're flying by FPV. Maybe you can use it also with the multi -wee. I have to try it. Um, here's a, another product. Now we're stepping away from the flight controllers. This is a gimbal controller which stabilizes your, your camera gimbal. You still need to make the brushless gimbal with the two pitch and roll motors, uh, 
But this is only two axis. Maybe you're looking for a three axis. But this two axis is very cheap. And that's all I can say about that. Bluetooth module and ultrasonic module. I know the Bluetooth module is it's supported by the multi-wee and you can configure your parameters for your flight uh, gains and what else, Servo, mostly flight gains, that's what you want to configure um, while in flight. So if you're within range of Bluetooth, you're able to do all those changes without landing and without connecting to your computer. This connects to this mega, what's it, all-in-one board. It might be able to connect to this tiny nano Wii, but I don't think so. Although, I don't see any reason why it couldn't. And then this is a UART distribution board. Um, probably for this all-in-one board to connect more sensors to it. First time I've seen these things. So, and you're wondering why this is up here. I wanted to show you that we were going to sell these as well. These are called the Quick Detach Prop adapters. You've probably seen them on Fox Tech already. But now you can buy my pretty video. We'll have all the sizes. This quote I'm building for the two hour flight time, as Ferdinand has done before. So I want to copy him and build this and fly two hours straight. Stay tuned. Bye bye.